You know, this guy's been on my mind for a while now, and that's uh, Tatsumi Kimishima. Um, he is currently the head of Nintendo um, after the passing of Iwata. And so far, and I'm just going to get this out right away, um, Kimishima has said a lot of things that make a lot of sense. His business background and his background with Nintendo gives him a very... I should say, broad outlook of all of the options that they can that that they can take, and as a result, he knows what he's doing. He knows where he's going to take Nintendo, and he knows how he's going to do it. And he's said very smart things. Um, and while he is going to follow Iwata's, you know, sort of vision for about another year or so, I do think that afterwards he's going to start really radically modifying Nintendo for the better because what I've heard him say, you know, he said brilliant things and I'll get in, you know, to more of that later, but I really have high hopes for this guy. Um, at first I was very skeptical, skeptical because I didn't know that much about him, but then I learned he was ahead of the Pokemon company in the United States, I believe. And that sort of trigger, I'm like, okay, so this guy's, you know, he's got history. So, I, you know, so far, um, the things I've heard him say, great. The things I've seen him do so far with the whole fellowship thing, great. Um, and overall, he just seems like a great guy to lead the company. These are 14 points that I'm going to pull from Times Business page, and this is a great article. You should, you guys should go read this right now. I'm not being sponsored or anything legitimately. You should go check this out. This is fantastic. Um, it's called uh, 14 Things uh, Nintendo President Tatsumi Kimishima Told Us. And I'm just going to name off these 14 points. And I want you to go read this for yourself and make your own opinion because don't blindly follow me because I'm just some idiotic nobody on the internet. Form your own opinion over this stuff. So I'm going to read these points off. He's in accord with his predecessor that Nintendo shouldn't blindly port its IP onto mobile devices. A very good point. Making Nintendo account in my Nintendo work well is his number one goal with regards to the company's mobile strategy. Good. Which is where Mitomo, Nintendo's first smart device app, Do Next March, comes in, and that just goes into, um, well, Mitomo, which I, I don't know too much about, but it's some sort of social thing um, that's going to be coming to uh, iOS and Android, I do believe. Um, next point. Uh, but Kimishima admits that the company hasn't done a great job of explaining Mitomo, which further backs my statement that I don't understand it very well. Um, and this one um, I find interesting, and it, this emphasizes that he did not say the Wii U would be a failure, because a while back there was news saying that, okay, yeah, he predicted the Wii U would fail, but um, this does go into why. Um, and he it goes in to explain what he actually meant, because he talked to the people at time and he explained what he actually meant. Um, he acknowledges the Wii U's problems, but says the company intends to keep making software for the console. So that means they're not just going to axe the Wii U. So they're not just going to, you know, drop it like a stone. Like a stone they don't want. They're not going to drop it like that. They're going to keep releasing games for it into 2016 and probably 2017, which is good. Because it's a great console, it deserves games, and the install base that they have built does deserve to have those games, as I've already said. And he thinks that that's a good idea, too. And, um... I said that in my video uh, discussing the NX and Wii U, which is my most popular video to date. Um, and, yeah, I, I, it's great that he's just not going to have them axe the Wii U right away. Like, okay, we're done with it. Fuck it. We can't do Wii shit anymore, which they can't. They can't do Wii shit anymore because the Wii is a lost fucking cause. But they can't... I mean, the Wii brand name, I mean. And But, you know, they can't... They, 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 get, they have to push the Wii the whole Wii brand, including Wii and Wii U, to the side, but it's good that they're going to keep pushing out stuff for the people that do subscribe to Wii U, and that's fantastic, because they're not just going to drop it, and that's great, because I'm getting one, and I don't want to have, you know, some sparse period where there's no games coming out for it. Um, this one's also important, I have something to say about this. People aren't using Amiibo the way Nintendo intended yet, and I agree with this. Um, 
they aren't meant to be collectible pieces. I mean, they are, but you're not supposed to leave them in box and be like, ooh, it's gold precious. You're meant to actually use them. And I don't have any myself because I don't have a reader because I have an older 3DS. Um, but I would like to have them and I'm going to buy some when I get my Wii U because I'm going to use them for Smash. But I think that if you're going to buy an, any Amiibo, just buy them and use them at least. I mean, you already have them. I mean, they're mass produced. They're not going to be that rare in the future because they're going to keep pushing them out eventually, aren't they? So... I could be wrong, but I don't know. I mean, I'm going to buy Amiibo to use them. If I unbox them too fucking bad, it doesn't matter to me because I'm not selling the damn things because I'm going to keep them for games. So I agree with that. Um, the new organizational fellow positions are about making Nintendo or making sure Nintendo IP endures long into the future. And this just goes into how that system is going to help Nintendo in the long run and, you know, blah, blah, blah. Uh, and uh, yeah, um, I believe the two people that were appointed under these fellow positions were um, Shigeru Miyamoto, and, and yes, I know I'm using that with an accent, but I do that to respect the language and the people there, because I don't want to be like, Shigeru Miyamoto, and you know, sound really English. Um, and uh, Genyo Takeda, um, okay, so I don't... That's the, oh, that's the um, company's console design expert. Um, all right. So those two people were appointed fellow fellowship positions. And while I don't necessarily know what that means, um, you can read about it on this article. Um, it just goes more into what they are and what they do and stuff. Um, Nintendo's quality of life initiative is still underway. So if you remember a while back, Iwata did say that um, there is this sort of thing, uh, the quality of life initiative is sort of, something about being related to sleep but that's all we really know um and a lot of people thought it was sort of dead after iwata died and um kimishima is stating that that's not the case they are going to carry on with the quality of life initiative and that's all cool so for gamers that doesn't really make much a difference but i guess that's cool um and this one is important big one dedicated game platforms remain nintendo's chief preoccupi preoccupation so they're not just going to quick switch to mobile games and pull a Konami on us and do fucking pachinko machines and, you know, all that bullshit. They're going to stick with the console market because that's what they do. That's just what they do. That's how they do. They're Nintendo. They're fucking consoles. That's what we know them for. That's what we've always known them for. So, and this is a relatively short one, so I'll just read it off. NX, the codename for Nintendo's next game system, is in development, says Kimishima, reaffirming that Nintendo will have money have more to say about it next year and calling it a next step in our dedicated device strategy the core and primary focus of our business the core and primary focus of our business there you go consoles they're not quitting on us guys we're fine nintendo's not going anywhere um and he says nx is definitely a departure from the wii and wii u thank God, you need to get rid of the Wii name. It is a plague. It cannot happen anymore because people think the Wii U is in addition to the original Wii and it's just going to happen again if you keep using the Wii name. Great. You need to get away from the Wii U. You need to, well, the Wii name in general. You need to avoid it like the plague. While the Wii U is a great console, its name is not. All right. But where the code name NX comes from turns out to be a mystery. Yeah, Kamishima has no idea where Iwata got NX from, so don't know. It could just be, you know, a series of numbers or or I mean letters, fucking numbers, what am I on? Anyways, a series of letters that just means nothing. It's just something he thought sounded cool. We don't know. No one knows, because Iwata's, you know, gone, which is unfortunate. But And the last point right here is that he definitely won't be a one year president. And that means that, you know, a lot of people thought he would just come and go real quick and then be done. And then, he, they, you know, he would just be sort of a filler position until they find someone great for the job. But the thing is, he already is great for the job. He's been working his way up through Nintendo for a long time. And if anyone, anyone that's watching this should know Nintendo well enough uh, to know that. And if you don't, you know now um, that in order to have a high rank at Nintendo, you need to have been there and moved your way up. It's sort of like an honor system a little bit, because that's how Japan, that's how Japanese businesses kind of work sometimes. So you move your way up, you work your way up. It's sort of like the fucking mob or something, even though these guys aren't like trafficking drugs and shit. But you get what I mean, you work your way up over the years, and that's what Kamishima did. 
um, and he has a great business background and all of that. And so he is fit for this job. And a lot of people say that he won't have the enthusiasm that Iwata did, and maybe not on the same level of you know because Iwata was a gamer. He was one of us. He was he was one of us, man. He was you and I. But Kamishima does understand the gaming industry because he's worked in it for a long time, as well as the business and banking industries. So, you know, I, I he's gonna do fine, guys. He, he, even if he's not gonna like pull a Konami on us. So even if he doesn't do that much better than Iwata, which he will, or he should at least, based on what I'm seeing here, he's not going to drag the company down into, you know, a death, you know, like what happened to Konami, uh, you know, it's not going to happen. So I really do have high hopes for this guy. I think he's going to do great things for Nintendo. He's going to make them relevant in the gaming industry. He's going to get maybe some on, on the next console. He's trying, maybe going to try and pull some multi-plats our way. I think this is going to be great. I think that we're in for a fun next couple of years with Nintendo. So, you know, I, I, what more can I really say other than this guy is, is, is a breath of fresh air for Nintendo. Thanks for watching this one, guys.